Hey what's up creators, today we're going to be kickstarting your shooter game. We're going to be showing you how you can implement your arms and your gun and attach them to the character so when we move around they follow along with us. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into Unreal Engine 5. Okay, what I've done is opened up the project which is available to you as part of the FBS course in the link in the description. This project is going to come with all of the assets that you are going to need to build your shooter game. It's going to come with a gun, it's going to come with arms, sounds, parts of cool effects, and everything you need. All of this is going to be available to us in the content browser. The very first thing that we're going to be working on is attaching the arms and the gun to our character. This can be found under content, FPS assets, first person BP, and blueprints. Inside of here, we can find our first person character. What I want you to do is just go ahead and double click on this to open it up. Our first person character is going to contain all of the inputs and functionality that is going to drive our character. It's going to hold the physical representation of our arms and our gun. It's also going to contain data such as the character's movement speeds and what happens when we press certain buttons. Let's go ahead and show you how we can attach those arms and those guns inside of this character. The very first thing that we need to do is go over to the viewport so we can see the 3D physical representation of our character. And we can see a list of all of the components in the top left hand corner. We've got a capsule, which is for our collision. And we've also got a first person character camera, which is what the player is going to be able to see out of. Now, what we need to do is add those arms and the gun. To do this, we're going to go up to components in the top left hand corner. We're going to press add. And then from here, what we're going to do is add in a skeletal mesh. And we're going to be giving this the name FPS arms. Make sure this is parented to your first person camera so it moves along with it. In the details with these FPS arms, we're going to be setting the skeletal mesh to mesh underscore arms. These are the 3D model that we've already created for our arms. If you have your own models, by all means, go ahead and use these. What we're also going to be doing is just using an animation right now for idling that we can set up. To do this, go to animation mode, use animation asset, and inside of here, we're going to be choosing our idle animation to put our hands into the position for holding a gun. So search for idle and we're going to be using arms underscore idle. And what you're going to get is something that looks like this, where we have our arms and it's ready to have a gun in there. Really straightforward. The next thing we need to do is actually add in a blueprint and a gun. To do this, what we're going to do is go ahead and in the same folder here, we're going to right click and we are going to be adding a new blueprint class of the type actor and give this the name M4A1 underscore gun. And this is just a empty blueprint that we can use for housing all of the functionality for our gun. In this case, all we're going to do is simply just add in a quick skeletal mesh and we're going to be giving this the name gun underscore model and then we are going to be setting our skeletal mesh to gun and the details on the right hand side. So what we have now is a empty blueprint class with our gun. What we need to do is go ahead and attach it into our first person character. And as we go through the course, we're going to be building out the functionality for this gun blueprint so we can get it firing and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and hop back over to our first person character and get this gun in here. To do this, what we're going to do is go ahead and find our M4A1 gun in our content browser and we are going to drag it onto and over our FPS arms. And if we go ahead and expand this, we can see we've got our M4A1 gun here, but it's not in the right position. So what we need to do is take our M4A1 gun and parent it to the arms so it moves with the arms, then our parent socket we're going to choose the little magnifying glass icon here and choose grip point. This is going to put it into the grip point. If it's not in there, just make sure your location is set to 000, zero up in the top right hand corner and do the same thing for the rotation as well. And now we have our gun in our hands looking perfect. Go ahead and hit compile and this is pretty much ready to go. The only other thing that we need to do now is actually move 
these arms in front of the camera. And the easiest way for us to do this is to go ahead and go to our level, select our first person character actor here, and we can see the preview of the camera. With the first person character blueprint window open, I can then just take these arms and I can move them into place and line up my gun exactly how I want it in my shooter game. So take some time, just adjust that and make it look all good. I'm quite happy with that and what we can do now is jump in, press play and I can move around. I've got my rifle there. It looks up, down, left, right and all of that good stuff with me. Okay, that's it for this video. We're going to be doing a lot more with this gun, such as setting up reloading animations, aiming down sights, sprinting, and much, much more, all available in the next videos. So go ahead and hop over to the next video in this course. If you have any questions about your shooter game, or maybe you just want a little bit of help, be sure to join our Discord, where we have over 5,000 like-minded Unreal Engine developers just like yourselves. The link for this is in the description down below. If you'd like to support more high quality training just like this, be sure to go ahead and check out our Patreon page, the links in the description. There, you're going to be able to unlock exclusive perks such as early access to our videos, easy to use game templates, and live mentoring. That's it for this video though, I hope you have enjoyed it. As always, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out.